Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James Grounded Family Bible Study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly, I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son, Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Genesis 28 and Isaac called Jacob and blessed him and charged him. You ever wonder, wasn't there a conversation between Isaac and Jacob about the whole event in chapter 27? What'd you do that for? Why'd you deceive me? Why'd you pretend to be who you were not? I always wonder why. Why was there no conversation? And charged him and said unto him thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan <clears throat> again what you're looking at you're looking at a pure race of the Jewish people they were forbidden in the law they were not to marry outside their tribe and what God's doing before they are tribes you stay within your family because he says arise and go to Padam Ram to the house of Bethuel thy mother's father and take thee a wife from thence of the daughters of Laban, Laban excuse me thy mother's brother and again it's that pure race of the family of Abraham and I believe Judah will blow that Isaac never met this family it was the servant of Abraham that went and it's kind of funny because is Isaac a prophet then he says, take thee a wife from thence of the daughters of Laban. Well, he has two daughters. And they end up, both of them being the, the wife of Jacob. Isn't that interesting? Laban only has two daughters. I don't think Isaac would know. And God Almighty, God of all gods, the God, creator, bless thee and make thee fruitful. Oh, yeah, he's going to be fruitful between four women, 13 children. And multiply thee, 13 children, and thou mayest be a multitude multitude of people, and you can't count the Jews today. They came from, the Jewish people came from two and a half barren women. Sarai couldn't have children. Rebecca couldn't have children. And of the four wives of Jacob, uh, Rachel couldn't have children. And give thee the blessings of Abraham, that's the foundation of the Jewish race, and to thee, Jacob, to thy seed, all your children, with thee, that thou mayest inherit the land. There's that land. Now, Mr. Abraham, give it to Isaac, now to Jacob. He is getting the firstborn blessing again placed on him before he leaves and Isaac never questions what happened thou mayest inherit the land which thou art a stranger which God gave unto Abraham now he's confirming the blessing That's what he's doing and Isaac sent away Jacob and he went into Padar Aram unto Laban the son of Bethuel the Syrian the brother of Rebecca, Jacob and Esau's mother. So they're going to keep it in the family. Be, oh, 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 you know, he's going to marry in the family. Well, there's one race of people protected by God. When Esau saw that Isaac had blessed Jacob again, it's not the, this is not chapter 27. Esau was not there. So Esau is standing there watching Isaac bless Jacob again. 
and sent him away to Panoramum to take him away from thence. And that, as he blessed him, he gave him a charge about who to get for a wife, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. That's a charge to Jacob. Don't you take any of these women around us. That Jacob obeyed his father and his mother and was gone to Panoramum. And Esau, seeing that the doors of Canaan pleased not Isaac his father. Now remember, Esau is the one loved by his father. So I'm going to hurt my father now. But chapter 27 was because Esau sold his birthright. Isaac has not done anything wrong to Esau. And now Esau is going to be bitter and spiteful. Then went Esau <clears throat> unto Ishmael. Well, that is the family of Abraham, but there's an Egyptian race there. So now you're going to have children of Esau who are of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but now they're going off into Hagar, the bondwoman. That God said, cast her out. So he's been, he is hated by God because of the birthright. He despised his birthright. God says, I hate Esau. God told Abraham, get rid of that woman and get rid of that boy. Now. So now he has a family that is despised, cast out before God. And they're going nowhere. Ishmael took unto him the wives which he had, Mahalthah, daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's son, the sister of Nabjah, to be his wife. So the enemy of Israel and the enemy of Israel have now come together in the marriage bed to make children who will hate Israel. I said Ishmael who hates Israel, Edom who will hate Israel, will now come together and will produce children that will hate Israel. And Jacob went out from Beersheba, that's where they were dwelling at that well, and went toward Haran. Now I got 3,318 miles. That's a long journey without a car. It looks like he's walking. And 3,318 3, miles is straight line that's not count you know if there's curves in a road up and over mountains and down the, I, that's just a straight line between these two places he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set sun setting there's a place he's got he's got a camp he's not in a village he's not in a city he's not in a town no one's going to take him in there's no one there. And he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows. Now, I can't imagine using a pillow for your head. Huh? Stone. I can't imagine using a stone for a pillow for your head. I can't even. That's hard. So, yeah, some people like hard pillows. And laid down the place to sleep. And he dreamed, so he slept. And behold, a ladder, John 1, 51, set up on the earth, man, and the top reached to heaven, God. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. No one has ever seen this vision before but Jacob. This is what they did or tried to do in Genesis when they built the Tower of Babel. They just wanted to get to heaven. Remember, not God. Well, here is a place, and you can't really explain because this is the only place it happens in the Bible. Supposedly, the angels come up and down on this line. And I, I don't really think they need a ladder. They can fly without wings. So I don't understand. The latter being Jesus, 1 Timothy 2, 5, the mediator between God and man. And behold, the Lord stood above it 
and said, I am, I am, that will be revealed to Moses. The Lord God of Abraham, thy father. Now, is Jacob's father Abraham? No. Their grand Abraham is his grandfather. A father in the Bible could be a grandfather, it could be a great grandfather, or it could be the father. There's no discretion. And the God of Isaac, that's your father. So you got to have the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and now the God of Jacob. This is the first time that God ever speaks to Jacob. The land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give and thy seed. Alright, here's the land, it's yours. Given to Abraham, given to Isaac, given to Jacob. Do you realize what God has done all three times with this? Here's the land to your seed. Uh, Jacob doesn't even have a wife yet. Isaac didn't have a wife. And then he had a wife with no children. And to Abraham, he had a wife that couldn't produce any children. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth. And thou shalt spread abroad to the west, to the east, to the north, to the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Judah running all the way to Jesus Christ. There is that. And all the earth will be blessed by your family. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Which comes to be Jesus Christ. And behold I am. Mark that one in the Bible. With thee, Jacob. You mean after everything he just done to his dad? Yeah, we're all sinners, aren't we? Isn't God great and forgiving? And will keep thee in all places whither thou goest, especially to be with Laban. And will bring thee again into this land. You're coming back here, Jacob. Now he needs that because when he gets to Laban, he's going to have a hard time. And I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. That's kind of weird wording right there. So we can only assume that when when Jacob uh, when Jacob dies, you know, he goes to Abraham's bosom. He doesn't go to God. And Jacob awakened out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. He had no idea what was going on. He was afraid and said, How dreadful. That's causing fear impressing or terror or fear what what we're learning right now with Jacob and God is he began to fear God at this moment how mighty is God and how wonderful and terrible he is Jacob begins to fear God this is none other but the house of God and this is the gate of heaven. By that ladder. By the dream that he dreamed. Now is this in Bethel? Right now that we don't see? It was a vision in his dream. I don't know. I can't say if it's true or not. Jacob rose up early. In the morning. So he woke up in the middle of the night. And then he went back to sleep. And took the stone. That he had put for his pillows. He took the stone that he put for his pillows. Stone is singular. Pillows is plural. That's interesting. And set it up for a pillar. And poured oil upon the top of it. Now this is Jacob's altar to God right here. The heathen... The pagans use this as a pillar which represents the male figure of the body. Trying to be clean. See, so you can take what man does for God and you can pollute it. Like they've done with the groves. 
Abraham made a grove for God, honoring God, and they have taken it today, and they, they made it as a false worship. And he called the name of that place Bethel, which means house of God. El, Jehovah, God, Beth, house. Bethlehem, the house of bread. A lot of churches will be called the Jew, well, not church, Jewish synagogues be called Beth something. House. See, you, you learn Hebrew right there. There's a Hebrew lesson. But the name of that city was called Luz at first. Let's see, Luz. I got a number here, but I don't see my number. Light, I have. And Jacob vowed a vow. Be careful of vows, but he's going to vow a vow. Saying, if God will be with me. And will keep me in the way that I go. He just said, that's what God told him. And will give me bread to eat. And raiment to put on. Now Jesus spoke to, to the multitude. He says, listen, be content with this raiment and, and food. That's what Jacob said. Lord God, if you just feed me. And keep me from being naked. I'll be content. I'll serve you. So that I come again to my father's house in peace. He heard everything that God told him. And he's fearing God. He's believing God. But he does have doubt. He's a Jewish person. He's allowed to ask God. 1 Corinthians 1, 22, I think it is. He's allowed to ask God for a sign. Jews require a sign. So I come to my father's house in peace. Remember his brother's angry with him. Then shall the Lord be my God. So, and he's also got that little bargaining chip there. You're going to see that a lot with Jacob. And this stone that I have set for a pillar shall be God's house. That's kind of interesting. Because God's house, God's temple is built in Jerusalem. Not Bethel. Bethel will become a place where it comes false worship. So be, shall be God's house and all that thou hast given me all that I was giving me, God giving him. Now watch this. Before the law, this is not the law. I surely give the tenth. Genesis fourteen twenty, Abraham gave tenth to Melchizedek. So what can we learn? I have to check. I, I don't know. If, According with Jacob, how long Abraham lived. Somebody told Jacob about Abraham giving tithes to Melchizedek. Because all of a sudden, here comes that tenth again. It skips over Isaac and it comes back through Jacob. And he's the bargainer. But he says, God, I'll give you a tenth if you do what you say. If you provide me to come back to my house, to my father's family, and be safe. I'll take care of you, God. I'll help you. I'll be yours. Now, Jews are allowed for those signs. And sometimes for even a Christian, we got to lay that fleece out. When it's a very important matter in our life, you know, we got to make sure. Is it God? Is it Satan? Or is it us? 